Running on the stairs. If these people aren't careful, someone's gonna get hurt. Good thing this machine came with the push the button twice and it will delete exactly the selection you were thinking software installed. Very convenient. Thank you. Thank you? For what? How am I supposed to know anything about what's going on without a previously on segment? You saved me. <laughs> what? Thank you, number one, for this graphic reminder of the events of the last episode, just as my eyeballs had finally healed from all the acid I had to pour on them after watching it for myself. Thanks a bunch. I'm sorry. I was wrong to suggest separating. I don't say that. How could you know what it was? One of the reasons the show grinds my gears is that I honestly have no idea whether Gihun knows exactly what's going on or is completely f***ing oblivious or is just outright dumb. I really want to root for the guy. I really do. I just wish he wasn't so pathetic. Once again, this episode persists in piggy banking on for all of the money grabbing some time. The total prize money accumulated so far is now 34 point Show manages to predict the total number of sin won it will get by the end of the season. Wait, do they not get socks? This just seems like a recipe for foot fungus and all sorts of unpleasant odors. Come to think of it, the show doesn't really indicate if the players have multiple outfits or if there's a wash day, and honestly, what are we even watching for if we aren't going to explore laundry protocol? Hard-boiled eggs would not be my first choice as a prison manager, largely due to the huge cleanup job that would be required. Now, since the rest of the episode isn't punctuated by the crunching of 200 discarded eggshells underfoot, I'm assuming that somebody eventually cleaned them all up, which is a huge waste of that somebody's time. If you're committed to eggs, then just de-shell them in the kitchen. When will a TV show do breakfast right? When? You're branding their bottles with the Shapes logo? What's the point of that? Did you have them made up at your local place or hit up discountdeathmugs.com? I mean, if you're looking for marketing opportunities, maybe start with the jumpsuits? And the director said, well, they're all out of apples, so let's have the character break an egg on his forehead after assuming it's hard-boiled so the audience truly knows he's making an asshole out of you and, um, Ming. Why is 212 covering this side of her mouth from being seen when, as far as we can see, the only people who might see are behind her? Shut your mouth and grab an egg. Title of my sex tape? This feels like an extreme overreaction. I mean, Doc Su is shelling out a real beating here, and if he's not careful, he'll crack a rib and scramble this guy's poor organs. He really should stop before the yolk goes too far. Unlike me. The fuchsia suits just let this beating lead to murder why again? Up until now, they've been very clear about the integrity of the games. And yes, they'll say they all planned it later, but we'll cross that glass bridge when we come to it. My point is, if I was one of the American VIPs and I lost a bet on this kind of off-the-book sh**, I would be furious. I said if. You just died! Can't you hear me, huh? Help us now! Gihun is, for some reason, still surprised by the barrenness of the field that should contain the f**ks given by the people who run this place. This room apparently has cremation ovens lined up on both sides. It must be hot as hell in that room. Those ovens operate at 1800 degrees each, so at the very least these guards should be sweating through their fully enclosed rouge bodysuits. Hurry! It'll be bedtime soon. Being a dick about your undercover organ harvester's bedtime. We gotta keep an eye out. It'll be dangerous. And we'll come here if anything goes down. If they're that paranoid, then why are they even splitting up? Stay together. Take a watch each. At least then you'll see the murder coming and have a chance to make peace with your deity of choice. Tonight, if anything happens, we'll all meet in my bed right there. Are you in? Lame orgy pickup lines. Listen, you don't trust people here because you can. You do it because you don't have anybody else. This could be the worst damn advice ever given in the history of television. An absence of options does not mean you default to trusting whoever happens to be in the room. That is not how trust works, people. By that logic, they should just go ahead and trust snakes on a pain in the ass over here and sleep soundly. We gave you less food on purpose to make you all fight each other. First, bullshit. There was less food because five people took seconds. Sure, the portions were small, but if no one cuts in line and no one gets angry and no one happens to beat someone to death, then none of this works out to your plan. Also, even if this is the case, which I repeat, it is not, why would all the workers know this? This is a triangle face. I mean, a square face maybe, but a freaking triangle face? Give me a break. Okay, last episode they hid the note in the food because he was in the middle of all the other players, which makes sense, but why bother this time around? They have him performing organ removals on a corpse in a secret room and they're worried about passing a f***ing note? I'm a doctor out there. You might need me. So? You gonna come give me a shot if I get sick? This show may well be doubling down on making 212 as annoying as humanly possible. Does she need to be this stupid? Of course a doctor would be a helpful addition to the team. Even if this next challenge is a zero-sum game of live or die, she knows that they're gonna be starting a fight tonight, so what's the harm in keeping the doctor until then? Are you getting any better offers? Go sit somewhere in a corner, come lights out. Don't breathe or make a noise. 
If I hear you breathe, then I'll come for you. Turkey basters. <laughs> Did that really require a f***ing jog? <laughs> you saw us, huh? <laughs> This player must have known that she's in very real danger after pointing the finger at these guys earlier. And yet she just lays in her bed hoping it will all blow over. You know what they say, denial's not just a character on Frasier. Also, I know I've mentioned it before, but this whole night of murder minigame makes zero of the sense as part of the squid game. It depends on random events and is chaos in an otherwise ordered environment. Someone got their perjure butter in my choco squid and I am not having it. Also, this darks on for all the some time and then strobes on for all of the even more amounts of all of the some time. Stop this wow, it was almost like they were taking orders from the random old guy. Can you imagine if that was the case? Of course, there's no way a show about violent death games would be that nuanced with its foreshadowing, huh? <laughs> Shooting into the air is sin enough when you're outside, let alone inside. Where did those bullets hit? Did they not ricochet? What if you hit the pig? Won't anyone think of the pig? When and why did he install interior mask lighting? Hey, big guy, is that a knife in your pocket or are you just... Oh, never mind. Player 277, eliminated. Player 74, eliminated. Player 198, eliminated. I love how after a drag out melee involving one knife, a broken bottle, and a lot of fists and bunk beds, everyone is either completely fine or completely dead. There should be people with broken limbs, collapsed lungs, concussions, and all sorts of various injuries. Look at this wide shot. I see at least 13 corpses here, many of which appear to have died instantly from stab wounds. And later they confirmed 27 kills. There was one knife and one broken bottle here in like five minutes. Unless John Wick snuck into the room, this is an impossible amount of fatalities. Show has time to once again show us how the geometry guards deal with dead bodies. This is the one part of this that actually already made sense, so move it along, people. Appreciate this wide shot so I can compare a few numbers here. Earlier you said there were 107 people left, but there are at least 121 people still lit up on the board here. Later you'll confirm the new postmaster total is 80, but once these lights go out, you're only down to 95. So either you've screwed up or you've got about 15 nameplates with lights stuck on that you might want to get checked out. Got any electricians in your shapely crew? Also, why are these numbers all out of order? Murder all the people you want, but I will not stand for shoddy visual organizational practices. Nobody here got hurt, so that's good. Disregarding emotional trauma. That's pretty new. Though I'm not sure how well it fits. Wow, the rare patronize a woman by calling her name pretty and insult a woman's appearance line drive double down the left field line. That's gonna notch two more SBIs, and it's only the top of the fourth sinning. But what's my reward for guessing? I'll go think about it in the restroom, okay? <laughs> well, that's escalated quickly. Previously, 212 had to beg to go to the bathroom, and now they're both being allowed out for a quick hide the squid game of their own. Why is this even being allowed? Storing your penis and your cigarettes in the same location. Who exactly are these one word notes supposed to be helping? This seems like sh Junho could have easily remembered, so why not add some more details? And if instead they're meant as a here's what I learned in case I've been prematurely cremated message to his superiors, then it's even more useless. This could just as easily be the notes to Junho's debut novel in progress, the story of a triangle mask gang leader that gets caught up in a riot, resulting in the accidental murder of his own brother. Wait, someone get Netflix on the line. I've got a movie. <laughs> Morse code? I'm not sure which to send more, that his brain turned random coughing into Morse code in roughly zero point get the f out of here seconds, or that he happened to know Morse code enough to translate it this quickly. So I'll just send that this phone still has 39% battery left somehow instead. What's the point of this design where you have to randomly walk upstairs just to walk back down them? And why are there no guardrails? I'm seriously starting to think they don't care about these people's safety. We have a team. Well, the thing is though, so... I can't join unless she does too. So player 69 can't do anything without his partner being involved? Nice. I'm good at everything, you know that's true. How could he possibly know what she's saying is true? Is this a sexual reference? Because I doubt that you setting an intercourse record or being a fellatio overachiever is going to come into play in the next game. One, two, three, four, Five. Counting this slow because you're waiting for the camera to catch up. I would now like to welcome you all to the third game. Today's game is Tug of War. Episode takes 40 minutes to start Squid Gaming. This image is stunning. When it comes to cool visuals, Squid Game, truly killer. Damn it. 
Oh, the U.S. presidency. This bloody crucifix is a bloody lie, unless one of the guards decided to go over it again with a much thicker application of people ink. Okay. When I was young, we always liked tug of war. It's a game I know well. And back then, I would always win. Get to the strategy already, number one. Your elevator ride to the death platform is already over and you're still here giving your bona fides? The show will now slow down their walk to the rope as if he could give all these instructions on the way there, but by the time he's talking about having a good person in the front, they're already being handcuffed in. Seriously, when is this speech even happening? Death isn't the only thing they cheat in this game. They cheat the timing, too. I'll count to three! One! Two! Is it just me or do these cliffhangers ring hollow when Netflix has already skip credited me to the next episode before I've even had a chance to get up and grab a cup of Earl Grey? Also, Squid Game is bold, but it isn't kill off 90% of the main cast in one tug bold, so it's hard to believe there's more than one possible outcome to this cliffhanger. Or is there? Stay tuned to the next thrilling installment of TV Sins to find out. That wasn't flying! That was falling with style. This is all we get. All right now, get mad at them damn things. Oh no, he died. Did you forget the rules? Seventh rule, fights will go on as long as they have to. I would like to extend to you an invitation to the pants party. Excuse me? The party, the pants with the pants. Party with pants? Brick, are you saying that there's a party in your pants and that I'm invited? That's it. Tell us, what are you good at? I'm the doctor. I'm a time lord. Don't breathe or make a noise. If I hear you breathe. I'll hunt you down and gut you like a fish! What's your name, old man? I'm Batman. Come on. Don't lose your spirit. You were meant to be here tonight. This is your time. Their time is done. It's over. Screw them. This is your time. Now go out there and take it.